Hello, uh, my name is Dylan Chapman, and this is going to be a quick tutorial talking about how to set up a keep inventory setting. So one of the things that you can do in the Doom Snap Map Editor is you can have your level set up so that when a player dies, they keep whatever weapons and uh, whatever weapons and equipment that they had when they died. So one of the things you want to want to do is you want to spawn a player, player proxy. And if you want to specify this to be any, like a specific team, a specific player, a demon player, or just more specific things, you can. But for just my, I'm setting this up in a single player campaign style map, so you'd want to change that depending on what you're doing. But for my single player level, it'll just be any player, because it'll be one player going through their campaign story. And with this any player, you're going to want to set it up so it's just any player score output doesn't matter to me because I want this to trigger every single time they die. Uh, the one thing, and then on player spawn, so you're going to want to press Q on it, and then just on player spawn. Actually, no, I'll, I'll, ma I'll remake it right here to show. So on it, you're going to want to on player spawn so that any time the player that this is looking at is spawned, we're going to want the gameplay settings, which is going to be doo -doo -doo, under gameplay, gameplay, gameplay settings, and then set active so that when the player is spawned, it will set the, these gameplay settings to active. So you're going to want it to have what I, I don't know. It'll change for you whether or not you want enemies to drop health, ammo, armor, any of that. But for the keep inventory, the main one you want to do is keep inventory on respawn. The issue comes with this is if you want to change what things players have on like their initial spawn. If you want players to have a different loadout when they initially spawn into your level, then when... Because normally if you spawn in, you'll have basically nothing. If you want to change what they have, including the amount of weapon slots and everything, you're going to have to change how the keep inventory works. So you're going to might want to make sure that's turned on. Because if I wanted to, let's say, in this one, I wanted to have it so that when the player spawns, they had four weapon slots, and I wanted them to spawn with the combat shock and the health shot, but leave the other two empty so they, they could pick up other weapons as they go, then you'd want to leave it. Like, you'd want... You want them to start with this. You don't want them to have to get this and set this to be active later. You want them to have this from the beginning. So you're going to want it to give loadout. The issue arises is that with this happening every time the player is spawned. So even if you have the keep inventory turned on, if the player goes and picks up another weapon, so it'll first give the player to keep their inventory, but then it will set their spawn. It doesn't matter which order this is. For some reason, this one just always triggers first. It'll let them keep their inventory, but then when they spawn, it'll give them whatever you tell it to. So if I have it as the combat shock and then the hell shot, but they died with um, the gas cannon, when they spawn, it'll look at it and go, we want them to have nothing, nothing, combat shock, gun, hell shot. So give them that, get rid of everything else they have. So you need to find a way so that uh, this triggers the first time they spawn into the world so that but not any other time so that the first time it spawns in it sets their item loadout and this time it'll make them keep their inventory but it won't it won't reset their item loadout is not that's the world that's the issue you don't want it to reset the thing the easiest way I found to do this was not that one this one you can ignore that blue line and that blue line that's coming from other various things in my world but so on the player spawn, you still want to set active the gameplay settings that allow for the where is it to keep inventory. You want to make it so that's still allowed. But then on the player spawn, you want to add an account of one to a counter with that has a max count of one. With the max count of one, with it doesn't reset when it hits max. And the starting value is zero. It may, this would make it so that the first time the play, every time the player spawns, it adds one, but the max is one, so it only ticks up one, and it doesn't reset. God, damn it.
sorry about that. I accidentally pressed F, which takes you to the next one of those in your world. On the count reached of it hitting the max, it gives the player the loadout of the starting loadout. So that the first time the player is spawned into the world, it ticks us up, it reaches the max count, and gives the player the loadout. If the player is then progressing through the level and dies, the player will not be given this loadout because it will go to add a count to it. It would go to two. Well, it wouldn't even t actually no. Max is one. It wouldn't even tick up. So nothing will happen to this. And since it's not changing at all, the count technically isn't being reached because it is not changing. Changing, and it will not give this player the loadout. It will then default to the keep inventory and they'll have whatever they have. So if I go in and delete these ones that I had copied to talk about this, so that it is just this one. So the first time I spawn in, I will have the combat shotgun, the hell shot, and no other weapons with four weapon slots. Double jump and ledge grab is enabled. The demon selection, you can set to whatever. Equipment, I will have none. But then, if I... Come, that was weird. But I'm going to spawn a weapon in, just so I can prove the point. Yeah, BFG. Why not? If I then proceed to play the level... What will happen is I'll be able to spawn in. And I can show you that I'll have the combat shotgun and the hell shot. But then I'll go pick up the BFG and I'll jump off a ledge and kill myself. Because I am doing this, it will look at everything that is going on and you'd be like, okay, the count's not moving, the count's not reaching the thing, so we don't have to give the player the loadout. And since we don't give the loadout, we'll let them keep whatever the hell they had on them, which was the full inventory slot, so I have the combat shotgun and the hell shot. Uh, this is gonna talk for a second. Welcome. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. So, when I jump off the sledge, we can work together and resolve this problem in a way. Actually, it won't kill me. I have the invincibility turned on so I could run through the level and test it faster. If I turn off the invincibility. Oh, other quick little thing. If you want to know how to test your level with invincibility and infinite ammo, you come outside of your map. So you're not looking really at, like, because if you're looking at that, it doesn't matter because I'm not within range. But if you're, like, in range of the building and I try to edit the... It just... Well, so just make sure, like, you're not looking at anything. Right-click to bring up this menu. Go to settings. And then you want to scroll it down to god mode and infinite ammo and turn them both on so you turn them both on and turn on now every time you spawn into the world you'll have god mode so you won't die the issue with god mode is if you fall off a ledge you will not die so you will be stuck in a void and you have to restart the level it's a, a pain in the ass so if we turn that off and then go back into the level. I can finally make this point about how keep inventory works. And it doesn't reapply the inventory and just resets it. That was the in in issue I found I had. Also, in case your game is crashing too much, because this is an issue I had, and if your game's crashing all the time, try running it in window, not borderless window. Borderless window for me was still crashing. If it's crashing, don't run it borderless window. Just do window. For some reason, magically started working for me. No idea why. So if we come down here, go to the other one. So I have these two guns. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. Kill myself. I spawn and I have the BFG still. I have the other two guns. I have my four weapon loadouts. But I still have my BFG. So boom, it worked. So that was showing you how to set up the keep inventory system. With a little bit also on how to do 
God Mode and Infinite Ammo. Those are two easier, well-known things, but I threw them in because I had to turn it off to show. But thank you. I hope this has helped you in some way, shape, or form to make your level work better for you. And uh, have a wonderful day.